everybody and welcome back to another video on pediatric dentistry simplified. Today's video talks about a pretty interesting topic in the field of pediatric dentistry and that is STF or silver diamine fluoride. In this video we'll be discussing about the history of STF, its mechanism of action, the indications and contraindications of the material as well as the mode of application. So without further ado grab your pens and your notebooks and let's jump right in. So let's start off with one of the key ingredients of SDF and that is silver. So the discovery of silver takes us back to 4000 BC where the Chaldean dynasty uh, were the ones who created the process of extracting silver from lead silver ores. Later in the year 1980 AD, Avicenna in his book Avicenna's Medicine talks about silver being used as a blood purifier. Now coming to our field that is dentistry. Silver has been used, uh, has been used, has been seen to be used in the year 1891 by Stebbins, who used silver amalgam and nitric acid to arrest caries lesions. He said that caries reduction was due to the antibacterial action and the deposition of a black crust producing a sclerotic protective layer of secondary dentine. Now let's come to the star of the show itself that is SDF. Now in the year 1969, a Japanese scientist named Mizuho Nishuro from the Osaka University of Japan found that the amalgamation of silver and fluoride proved to be beneficial for the teeth with silver giving the antimicrobial properties and fluoride presenting its remineralizing properties. Uh, together, this formulation also resulted in a precipitate that could occlude dentinal tubules and also could help with hypersensitivity. Later, diamine silver fluoride was approved by the Central Pharmaceutical Council of the Ministry of Health and Welfare of Japan as a karyostatic agent and it was marketed by the name Sephoride. And then in the year 2016, the FDA approved SDF and it was awarded to be the breakthrough therapy for dental caries. So that was all about the history of how SDF gained its place in the field of dentistry. Now on this slide here, I've listed the most popular brands for SDF, that is SDF by Kidzy, Advantage Arrest, Saferide and FA Garmin. Now one thing that you will see mentioned on all of these bottles is a number and that is 38%. This is the concentration of SDF that we are using for the treatment. This includes 25% of silver, 8% of ammonia and 5% of fluoride. Now why 38%? That's because as per research, this approximate percentage allows SDF to showcase its effect on the decay as well as it isn't toxic to the human body. So 38% of SDF, it's both safe and it's efficacious against dental caries. But how does this work? What is this thing that is so good to defeat dental caries? So let's look at the mechanism of action. So the main activity of SDF is on caries causing bacteria and these are your streptococcus mutans, your actinomyces naslandii, your lactobacillus acidophilus and your lactobacillus rhamnosus. And as we all know the tooth has both inorganic as well as organic components. So SDF works on both of them. On organic components, it prevents or it inhibits the degeneration and on the inorganic component, it promotes remineralization. Now let's look at the individual components of SDF and that is silver, diamine and fluoride. Silver. Now silver plays two roles. One is being an antimicrobial agent and the other is creating a silver protein layer. Now as an antimicrobial agent, silver causes the bacterial cell wall to denature and it also has an anti-enzymatic activity. That means that it acts against any kind of destructive enzymes that are released by the bacteria. And then by creating the silver protein layer, it prevents the bacteria from invading the tooth and it also occludes the dentinal tubules. So in turn, it helps with the case of dentine hypersensitivity. Next is diamine. Now diamine is nothing but a stabilizer. So it stabilizes the high concentration solution and then comes fluoride. Now we are all aware of the benefits of fluoride. It's the power tool of dentistry. So fluoride mainly prevents demineralization and it promotes remineralization. 
it also improves the crystallinity so it basically acts on the hydroxyapatite crystals and it makes the lattice work stronger and harder to penetrate and this also has an anti-enzymatic activity which is similar to that of your silver now there is a very peculiar concept when we talk about sdf and that is zombie effect now what is the zombie effect so silver in the silver uh, I mean, the silver releases silver ions right the silver ions which are released when the sdf application is done they act as silver bullets these silver bullets are directly uh, they act against the bacteria in the lesion so how do they act they act by breaking the cell membrane the denature the protein and they inhibit the bacteria to replicate their dna so it inhibits bacterial dna replication so once all of this is done and the bacteria dies the dead bacteria then becomes the carrier of the silver and hence when they mix with the living bacteria the silver gets activated again so here the dead becomes the, become the cause of death for the living similar to what zombies do right and that's why this is called as a zombie effect and this silver reservoir basically is the reason for sdf to have a sustained antimicrobial effect so for a long time the dead keep on killing the living again and so there's a sustained antimicrobial effect now let's look at the indications of sdf that in which cases can we can the sdf therapy be suitable first are cases uh, are, are cases where we can see a high caries risk second are kids with whom you know behavioral management is difficult or kids who have any sort of predisposing medical condition that makes it difficult to manage the cavitated carious lesions third is kids who have multiple cavitated carious lesions so that may not be able to we won't be able to treat all of those at one sitting so in those case also sdf proves to be helpful and lastly it's very helpful in areas where healthcare access is very limited like on dental camps uh, or to remote regions you know so treating lesions with sdf may prove to be very beneficial in the long run now coming to the contraindications now sdf being a very safe therapeutic agent it doesn't have those many contradiction uh, contraindications so out of the few that we have uh, is silver allergy so it's a big no no in this case we cannot place sdf if the kid has silver allergy next is a uh, patient uh, secondly patients uh, if they have any sort of mucosal irritation any ulcer gingivitis or mucositis and then in this case the sdf can be the cause of uh, you know they can be an irritant uh, to the tissues in these cases so avoid uh, in such cases and finally cases where the proximity to the pulp is more so in this case also sdf can be an irritant so avoid in these cases as well now we come to the practical part and that is the application of sdf so first and foremost step taken in this procedure is to get a consent uh, from the parent or the guardian now we all know that sdf is a very difficult therapy uh, it's a, it's a very um, difficult to understand therapy because it's very difficult to explain to the patient uh, to the parent that you know there will be black stains so uh, that is why a detailed conversation with the parent or the guardian is necessary uh, to explain the benefits and the effects of sdf along with any kind of adjunctive therapy or adjunctive treatment modalities that can be given to the kid now i have attached an example of a consent form here as you can see there's a detailed explanation of what sdf is its benefits and its risks and the alternates to the sdf treatment okay so once uh, our consent form is done so we move ahead with the application first of all we do a proper setup a proper layout of uh, our our chair our workspace we dispense one drop of sdf in a clean tappan dish and we make sure to handle sdf with gloves because it can stain if it come in if it if it comes in contact with the skin next step is to apply vaseline petroleum jelly to the oral soft tissues to prevent staining if at all the staining does occur we can just ask the parent or the guardian not to worry because it will disappear within 1 to 3 weeks max once the soft tissues are secure isolate the teeth that are to undergo the treatment dry the tooth properly with a three way syringe or a dry sterile cotton 
Use a micro brush to collect SDF from the dish and evenly coat the affected regions. Continuously apply the SDF for around 2 to 3 minutes. You will start to notice the region getting a blackish hue. After a few weeks, recall the patient to observe the effects of SDF. Uh, now you'll see that there will be a proper black uh, stain visible and if at all uh, there is a need, you can reapply a second coat. Now the blackish hue is disturbing for sure and so there is a smart technique. Now the smart technique is nothing, uh, it's, it's, it's not a genius or a, or a eureka moment. Smart basically stands for silver modified atraumatic restorative technique. Now uh, we are defining it here as a modified application of the atraumatic restorative treatment, the ART that we usually do. Why are we, uh, you know, using this word is because it allows the flexibility to use SDF with or without cleaning the margins using rotary or other minimally invasive methods before placing the restoration. Now, why is it that we are using only GIC and we are not using any other restorative agent? That's because GIC has a significant anti-caries effect it, uh, with very less recurrent decay at the margins and the adjacent surfaces. Also, the long-term release of fluoride ions uh, by the GIC, it supports remineralization and these ions basically uh, can have also, they also have a rechargeable uh, concept. So, as uh, you know, we, it can be recharged, the fluoride level in the restoration can be recharged by other sources like the fluoride in our toothpaste. So, GIC restorations have been shown to be antibacterial and to decrease the anti uh, the acerogenicity of the biofilm, most likely from the fluoride release. So, guys, this brings us to the end of the video. This was all about SDF. If there are any more topics or any specific topics that you guys want me to cover, please mention that in the comment section below and I'll make sure to make a video on those as well. That's it for now. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.